Diablo 3 is coming out today. I've been waiting my whole life for Diablo 3, and it's finally coming out. So, today I prepare. I do my homework. I clean my room. I chill the Mountain Dew. And then tonight, at midnight, I will go and I will get Diablo 3. And I will play the shit out of that game until I fall asleep and have to go to school tomorrow. What's up? Oh, Want to get up in this lap, kitty? Yeah, that's what I thought. <coughs> Hell yes, yeah, son. Hell yeah. <laughs> I was actually going to go down and uh, get the midnight release at uh, Fry's Electronics, but I'm going to download it now, and then right when it hits midnight, I'm going to be playing Diablo 3. Diablo 3. Diablo 3. Been waiting like 10 years of my life for this game. I'm so excited. Gonna have a good day. You gonna stop when I get here or what? This is two and a half minutes into her adventure. I've been doing this for two and a half minutes straight. <laughs> it's the, this cat's favorite way to drink water. Makes sense, you know what I mean? Makes sense, know what I mean? Makes sense, you know what I mean? <laughs> Two more hours till Diablo 3 goes live. <laughs> Sorry for the weird vlog today. I had to get done with my school project and Got that done, so it's good. And I'm almost done with school. Got that notice in my email that I am graduating finally. I'm so excited. So it's a very good day. Uh, hope you're all having a good one. And I'll see you tomorrow. If I if I could wake up. I'm gonna be playing this game until I go to school tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm gonna be quite tired. It's going to be fun. Peace. Ever since I've been young, I've always had a big fascination with computers and technology. It was around 1992, and I was lucky enough to have a computer at the time when most people did not have computers in their home. Even though there was very little to do on the computer, I would spend hours looking through menus and different things. I was hooked. I was learning new things that most people did not know about, and this made me very excited. As computers got better and my love for technology grew stronger, Every day after school, I would come home and watch a program called The Screensavers. The Screensavers, or TSS for short, was an hour-long program on Tech TV featuring computer mods, builds, and hacks, and everything underground. The girlfriend's coming over, you know, you got to get it with some data really fast or right. the feds are knocking on the door. So, let's see, there we go, yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, so this was dipping the drive in the ass, and if you notice, once the sun hits, it's going to start to boil a little bit here. It's eating away at the aluminum is what it's doing right now, destroying all the data on the disk. My backyard, and uh, that's a pound of thermite. And the second you ignite it, there it goes, yeah. Now that, that's molten iron spraying off of it. You want to step back for that one. One of my most memorable moments of watching TSS was when Kevin Rose, the host at the time, announced and reviewed his own website on the show. So to actually give the power back to the people. Let me nice. show you a month. Right. This one here is called Dig.com. It's with two G's. D-I-G-G.com. Dig.com was born. Genius. Tech TV was eventually bought out by G4, and TSS was turned into Attack of the Show, a new show that covered video games, movies, and other things in pop culture, a far cry from the modding and hacking days. At this point, I realized how passionate I was for all things tech and underground. I started numerous websites, and after lots and lots of hard work and trial and error, I found myself making a pretty decent living doing what I loved. I'm really glad things turned out the way they did. Without TSS, I don't think I would have ever had the motivation to do what I have done. What's up? 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 Cause he vlogging every day. Daily, daily, daily.